Hey students, so let's take a quick tour of Device Manager. So as you can see, I've opened up the Device Manager. We're on my laptop computer. And we'll go in and you know just look at a few things here. So you know here's a Cronus, which is my backup software. There's a driver for it. We can see that it's a Cronus Corporation. Uh, you know the driver date there. We can look at details. So if you notice here in details, we can get a ton of details on the driver. So you know most of these are are used for uh, troubleshooting. You know or figuring out the driver, the driver key, whatever might be needed. If there's any events that are associated with the driver, so you can see here, you know, 320, you know, the driver service was added, the TIB mounter service. So that's you know, part of my backup software. So there's a great example. Now, now what I've done is on, on this laptop, I don't have a dedicated, we'll go look at network adapters here. I don't have a, a dedicated uh, Ethernet card. This is a modern laptop. It doesn't come with one. So I bought a Linksys dongle. And as you can tell, um, other under other devices, there's a question mark. And what it means is what I've done is I've removed the driver so that we can actually install the driver here. So as you can see, it's got an exclamation point. It's it knows it's a Linksys device. It's pulling that, you know, from the device ID. We double click on it. We'll go into driver. OK, and as you can see, there's no driver currently available. So I've already downloaded the driver that I know I need. So instead of searching the web automatically, I'll tell you what, I'm going to search the web so we can see if it'll find this driver, you know, within, say, you know, the Windows driver system. So I'll double click on that. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. Oh, guess I don't need to. So could not find a driver. Great. Well, that's no good. Luckily. I have the driver, so I'm going to update the driver. I'm going to browse the computer. I actually put it out on the desktop. So there it is. Here you all can't see that. There we go. So there's the Linksys. I'm going to go into 64-bit folder. I'll say OK. I'll say Next. And it's going to go out, finds the driver. It's a really small driver. I'll say Close. We'll close the properties and now as you can see it's now showing up in network adapters it knows it's a network adapter so there's an example of drivers now remember with the way that we are working this class we're not necessarily talking about a one computer and managing drivers on one computer so in this case what i would want to do from a corporate environment is go ahead and put up a master computer, make sure all the drivers are up to date, it has all the software on it, and then what I can do is take an image of that and deploy that, you know, uh, via either a Microsoft solution for deploying system images, um, do it through another third party, you know, whatever needs to be done, so that instead of having to install each individual computer, configure each individual computer, I can have a master and I can throw that image out as much as I please. So anyway, there's a bit on device manager. Hope this helps.